Hi, this is Mass Rundown. If you enjoy movie reviews and trailer reactions, you're in the right place. I'm not subscribe and hit the like button down below. On this Top Tuesday, we're going to be reviewing number 92, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie. The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie is a 1972 French film directed by Louis Bunel. It took home the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film in 1973. The discreet charm of the bourgeoisie follows six well-to-do individuals and explores their lives, dreams, and their inability to host a dinner party. So let's look at the good. The directing was good. The cinematography was good. I could see what they were trying to do. Uh, yeah. I think the costumes and the sets were also really well done because you must remember it's 70s, so they were yes. wearing 70s clothes. Is that it for the good? <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything else good to say about the movie. I just didn't like it. No, I also... As much as the directing, the cinematography was good, it was hard to get into the movie. It was hard to enjoy the movie. Yeah, and I didn't get into it at all. No, and I am fine with stylistic choices to tell a story and to tell a narrative, but there was no plot to this. And I know that was the point, but... It just becomes unpleasant for the average viewer to watch it. I feel like I got what they were comparing, you know, looking at the rich and the rich people's influences and views on people who are not rich and their own neuroses in the process yeah. through the dreams. But it was like, and, you know, there was just nothing for me to grab onto and be interested in. And I don't think any single character in that whole movie was interesting enough for me to care about. And you can't say the acting was bad, but like you say, nobody stood out. And I think you're used to watching movies that have conflict and resolution and conflict and resolution and progression in a story. And there was nothing in this. It was scene, 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 discussing theme, theme, theme. And that's great if you're going to analyze a movie, but if you want to sit down and enjoy a movie purely for entertainment value, this doesn't have it. No, definitely not. I think overall the movie just left me feeling, so what? Like, what was the point? Why did I spend an hour 40 watching this? Which I wish I could have gotten back because it was so bad. But anyways, <laughs> and I thought at some point or some level that I just didn't get the movie. So I did some reading up on it, and I got everything. I got the stylistic choices. I got that they were doing this comparison between the rich and poor and looking at how they live and, you know, the terrible things they do. And I was just still left with <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I, I get it, but I don't get it. So I understood what the movie was saying, but I don't get why it was such a big deal and why I should care about it at all. And if we're looking at who should watch the movie, like it is a great movie for critics to look at, for film students to look at. I understand then why it won an Oscar for Best Foreign Film. Because it has those themes throughout and you can analyze each scene. And film students will love it because they can sit and pull apart every single scene. Like the gun in the ceramic pot, how that juxtaposes. And it's great and all, but for an average movie viewer, for somebody who wants to sit down and enjoy a movie, there's not much in it for this. And it's not even like it's a complex concept, like Inception might be to some people, and Shutter Island, because it was a bit of a thinking movie in that. It just was themes, and let's explore these themes, and that's great for film students, like we say, but, yeah. The worst thing for me is it wasn't even themes that were difficult to understand or anything there was no deeper meaning it was a lot surface level for me and i know you're talking about like the china and the delicacy versus the gun which is so much harder and violent but i mean that's pretty obvious stuff i don't know it just wasn't interesting i don't personally see why i'd won an oscar i didn't enjoy it at all obviously my rating would be pretty much a zero because i felt like i didn't get an ounce of enjoyment out of the whole time and I really wish I hadn't wasted my time watching it. I'm going to give it a two because of maybe the cinematography, the directing. It was well made, even though it wasn't good. So let us know in the comments down below. Have you seen a good 
plotless movie. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Later.